And you make a great point. Chris Sims has articulated that same thought, although he was far more blunt. There are going to be coaches and GMs and owners out there who don't want anything to do with Kyler Murray. It's not even going to be a consideration. He's too short. We don't want him. We don't want that style of offense. That's not how we want our team to be run. So that would have to be factored into any consideration as to the teams that may be interested. And Peter, let's go there for a minute or two, because I tried to think of the teams that would want him. And there's not a lot that jump out because a lot of the teams currently know who their quarterback will be. The three teams that were in the hunt for Deshaun Watson, but didn't get him saints, Falcons, Panthers, those would be the most immediate three because they already had the wallet out and opened up and the money was there to, or, and, and the, and the draft picks were there as well to try to get Deshaun Watson. So I could see a pivot. Hey, a few weeks ago, we were trying to get Deshaun Watson. Now Kyler Murray's available. Activate a- a- F- NFC South. Everyone but the Buccaneers activate to try to get Kyler Murray. I would throw the Eagles on top of that also as a possibility because they were on the fringes of the whole Deshaun Watson conversation and never really swooped in in part because maybe Watson didn't want to go there. And then I'd put the Texans in play as well. How could you not add the Texans? Even though Kyler Murray may be stepping into a team that isn't very good, he likes playing in Texas. Now, he'd prefer to play in Dallas, where he's 10-0 and 0 at AT&T Stadium, but I think he'd be intrigued by the possibility of playing for the Houston Texans if they were interested. So those are the five that, to me, would be the universe. I've looked at every team, and I can't imagine someone that has their starter throwing out the current plan for Kyler Murray. Because he's not at that level where you throw overboard. Like if Aaron Rodgers was truly available and on the market, I think every team would have to say, "Mm, do we throw overboard the guy we have? I don't think Kyler Murray's at that level yet where you would say, well, you know what? We're happy with Justin Fields, you know, and, 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 and we, and so we're stay, you know, we're staying with who we have. Whoever it is that you have that is your plan, Kyler Murray's not so great that you're going to scrap your plan. And I think that is exactly where the Philadelphia Eagles would land. You know, we could argue right now that, look, if we were doing this last October 20th, you'd laugh if, if, uh, if, if I said that, well, the Eagles don't think that Kyler Murray's a big upgrade over Jalen Hurts. But, but you know, we've got more evidence than just seven or eight weeks at the start of last year when Kyler Murray arguably was the NFL MVP. And so I think you have to look at where the Eagles are, where Nick Sirianni would be, and you just have to ask him, do you want a guy who's been hurt some, who's small, who, you know, you don't know how durable he's going to be long-term? Is that what you want to do? I mean, look... I like Kyler Murray. I'd like to have him for most teams in the NFL, for 15 to 18 teams at least in the NFL, I'd like to have him as my quarterback. But it absolutely is not a slam dunk because you have to ask yourself long term, do you want to play that style of offense and do you want to play with a guy who looks like he has been subject to injury. And and so I think those are the big questions you have to ask yourself. But, Mike, I doubt sincerely that the Philadelphia Eagles would, would really, uh, you know, mortgage all of the, the gains that they've made in draft choices, you know, and get rid of Jalen Hurts and add Kyler Murray. It's just, that's my gut feeling. And... I could make the argument either way, but it's close enough that I wouldn't be 100% certain. And look, the reality is right. the flag yeah, it's is arguable. planted. Yeah, the flag is planted. If anybody wants to try to get Kyler Murray, now's the time to make the phone call to the Arizona Cardinals. And- Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.